We've been working on one that I want to show you right now for quite a while and it's coming together really nice. So let's check it out. Here we have a 1976 late bay window pop top Westphalia that a customer ordered for us to build and they wanted it to be a late bay window pop top where this, uh, the top goes up this way where you have the bed. That was their thing. It's like, we just want the bed on top. It's gotta have that. And uh, we found this one, really nice bus, um, solid bus when we started on it. And we started going for it. Months down the road, here we are where it's pretty close to being done. A little bit of tweaks to the mechanicals of it, but we've ran it in the shop, just haven't ran it on the road yet. So a few more things to do there but a lot of it is really coming together. We've got the tent on it, the seals, fiberglass done and painted, the window seals, the tires. These tires are actually new and ready to go. They just need hubcaps, uh, but the customer wants white walls. So those will go on there. The seals here as well. We've got the back pullout Z bed right here. This is the color that they wanted. This type of uh, original plaid this would come out of an actual Westie, not in this setup, but this is kind of like the way they wanted to do it. Um, even with the color, of course, colors are not like that, but uh, that's the way they wanted it. I think it looks really, really nice. And I don't know if you can hop up there and give them a shot of the, uh, the full bed up there done, the upholster. We come around this way. These were replaced out. These are the um, uh, window trim. Yeah, the window trim, the felt, the vent window seals right here. Kind of a pain in the butt, but this one needed it. They didn't have any at all. So these are all replaced. Of course, the new uh, side view mirror, the new handles and stuff. Let's check out the front. I'm really digging the, the panels. Like it's really going together with everything. With the plaid and the green, the gray, uh, the color of the plaid with the exterior color. It's like... I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So basic cosmetic stuff on a build is like the uh, front seats are reupholstered. The door panels are nice and redone the color you want or just redone. You can let us choose. We will we're usually pretty good at it. The floor mats are replaced. Those are like new rubber floor mats. If there's anything in the dash that kind of needs replacing, like if these are really gone, we'll replace those too. Detailing a little bit. If there's like scuffed up black on the the shifter or the e-brake will like sand it down, paint that black really nice. Like make it look clean like this here. The front looks gorgeous, man. The front is like the, it's the thing, you know? It's just a like, showstopper. Yeah, you got this emblem, of course, that kind of makes everything. All this stuff is replaced, like the turn signal lenses, these lenses, the emblem. The grill on the inside, the front rubber seals, the bumper is like probably new, right? Or all brand new, yeah. Or uh, sanded and repaired really well. That one looks that one looks really good. It's got to be new. These seals, the fiberglass on top repaired. A lot of them are uh, like cracking really bad. You gotta just spend a lot of time getting them nice and clean. So that's all done. Same here. All the window seals, front to back, basically all around are replaced on here. Again, that's something that comes with a full build. You know, we just kind of do everything. Little detailing on certain things. We go all the way to the back. Even these little seals will replace them. We do all that because when we're doing all the metal and paint work, all the windows come out, the handles come off. So you really can't put the old stuff back on. Like you literally can't because the old window seals are like usually cracked so you, you, once you take it off that's it they crack up and you got to put back new these door seals we put those into same thing once you pull out the old ones when you start to paint it those old ones are done like they'll rip as you pull them out so these are all replaced nice uh cushion for the back matching the interior again with a late westy you get this kind of like cool retro camper gear really nice all original stuff I can show you the motor real quick it's not done but I can show you we've got a good solid running motor for this build the customer didn't want to go with a rebuild motor on some of these full builds we do we give you the option of a rebuild transmission and a rebuilt motor we like that way because then we don't have to worry about any issues we just rebuild it and we're done but if a customer doesn't have the budget for it 
Then the other thing we do is we find a good running motor with good compression, and that's what this is. It's got new carburetors on it. It'll have a full tune-up. It'll have all the engine tin on it and a new battery, uh, new plugs, new distributor. They're gonna tighten all this up real nice, get it running really well, and then I'll start driving it, and then you'll see more video of me cruising around in this thing. And yes, there is a rear bumper. There is a rear bumper, guys. <laughs> Can you believe it? So it does have a rear bumper, probably a brand new one, I'm not sure. Rear bumpers are hard to find, which is why a lot of buses, sometimes you don't see rear bumpers, they're just hard to find. So that, well, that'll go on there. I was gonna mention, uh, what else was it? Oh, uh, I'll start driving it soon. On the build, it's all, paperwork's all done too. We take care of all the paperwork on the full builds. We have the title, we've got the registration, the tags, everything current, ready to go, ready to slap on this thing once it's able to get on the road and drive. So we did a nice walk around of everything. And at this point in time, I'm kind of talking about the motor, which makes me think of like the rest of the mechanical part of it. So the brakes, the front and the back all around are uh, all new. So we take basically everything out, put all new system in it. So the back has like the new pads, new uh, brake cylinders. If the drums and all that need to be replaced, we will or remachined. The front has new disc brake calipers on it, a new brake booster, e-brake cable. All that stuff is done and fresh and new and nice. And then the electrical, the electrical horn, headlights, taillights, wiper, blinkers. Hazard lights. Hazard lights, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, hazard lights. Uh, some of these passenger buses, the dome light. And that's really it. Give them one more little walk around. Yeah.